So we got our panels mounted and we basically have to get the grid tie inverter right there hooked up to the cables coming off the panels and these are MC4s and we're going to make up the cables now on the connector ends that were, will interface between the panels and the inverter. So here we have the solar cable, the connectors, male and female, the crimp on pieces, and the crimp on tool. So you got the two connectors here, you got a small one and a fat one. <clears throat> the fat one goes with that connector, and the small one goes with that connector. Make sure you uh, put the wire restrainers and the wire nuts on the wire first before you do the crimp so that you don't have any troubles getting that over the crimp. Alright, so we pulled about 10 millimeters off the cable here and we've placed the connector inside the crimp tool. It's going to be a little hard getting the cable in here now. Okay, there we go. And when you crimp it, it basically curls it all together. That's it. And you can actually place the <coughs> fasteners over top and onto the cable, like so. Then uh, this portion pushes into the, actually pushes into the, this side. Get that. You just force it in there. Put that cover on. Tighten her up. That's it. That's uh, the one portion you can see on the inside there. All right. So on the connector. We, the first one's about a foot long, and I've stripped the end uh, just like so. So we're just using a conventional eye loop type connector for the inverter side. It's just a bolt on uh, fitting there. All right. If you strip it like that, it'll it'll fit nice into there. The rubber portion of the cable will be supported. And you just go into the regular crimper here, tighten her down, that's it, that's our first connection for the inverter. So partial sun, uh, we've got the first panel cabling hooked in here, and you can see on the inverter, basically the lights just flash from one to the next. So it's not getting a lot of juice yet until we hook up the other panels. And I've just got it in a temporary extension cable that uh, plugs up into the outlet there but I'm going to put another outlet right up here in the corner where the inverter is going to plug in. Okay now we got uh, two panels connected. Cables are just loose and you can see the lights on the inverter are going a little quicker and we're going to hook up the third panel in a few minutes. Okay here we are we've got the third panel put in just using some loop fasteners to hold the cables in. Sap straps. From the outside it looks fairly clean. And hooked up to the inverter. So we got the conduit put in, going to the plug, 
fairly clean wiring there from the inverter.